my name is Don Gray. I'm the CEO of GiveX. Over the last 20 years, uh, GiveX has developed a global financial technology platform. We have an engagement solution, uh, such as gift and loyalty programs, point of sale solutions, payment solutions. And the best part about this is that GiveX deploys all of this on the same platform. Uh, we've done this uh, with less than a three and a half million dollars in original invested capital. We've been consistently profitable in growth for the last uh, eight to 10% a year and positive cash flow every year. And at the same time, we pay dividends to our original investor group for over 10 years. Now, we think GiveX is unique to the marketplace as we operate in 10 countries with clients in over 100 countries in multiple languages and currencies, all on the same platform. There's not many global competitors to GiveX with all of our attributes in the marketplace today. Now, GiveX went public in December 2021 to strengthen our balance sheet so we could ramp up our growth through strategic, well priced acquisitions and move our growth rate to 25% of more. Now we've been successful in doing that in our first quarter. We were able to see 26% growth and I'm confident in our growth strategy in the coming years. We were able to acquire two companies in our first quarter and uh, the plan is to continue to look for these strategic acquisitions in the coming years. Now it's a competitive world out there and uh, you know everybody wants to know, well, Don, how are you gonna grow the company? What are you gonna do to, add, to grow the business? Well, of course, we're gonna do more of what we do already. We're going to continue our steady internal growth of 8 to 10% a year with our existing clients, making sure that uh, they're looked after, they're serviced properly, and try and sell them additional services. Then we're going to leverage our public listing that we just did in December to acquire companies that fit with the GiveX mold. So our objective is to continue to grow the business, uh, grow the number of locations, grow the value per location, and at the same time, increase the, the uh, value of our stock because uh, looking after our investors is very important to me. We paid dividends for many years. So having a business uh, that uh, increases shareholder value is uh, our primary objective. Since I'm a very large shareholder myself, I wanna make sure we do that very effectively. Now our clients fall into five buckets. For example, we have restaurants, we have hotels, we have restaurants that are in hotels. We have retail stores, we have retail stores that are in hotels. We have venues such as Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment in Canada. Major League Baseball in the United States, the NBA, uh, the NFL teams are uh, use GiveX programs. We also work with governments. We have uh, government-funded uh, uh, liquor control boards in uh, Canada, as well as lottery corporations that we also support. So we do range from single operators. We, with small operators can board themselves. They can go online and they can set themselves up with GiveX services. And we have multi-chain locations with over 10,000 stores. We can handle multinational clients of all sizes, and we do. For example, we handle Nike's global program, we handle Marriott's global program, and we handle large programs in the United States and Canada, such as Wendy's, over 10,000 locations, and McDonald's in Canada with 3,000 locations. So we're certainly capable of handling large clients as well as small clients. Many of our clients have been with us for 10, 15 years. For example, Nike has been with us over 15 years. So has Marriott Hotels, and uh, McDonald's has been with us over 12 years. So we have done a great job of looking after our clients and making sure that they're uh, well-serviced and looked after. And as a result, they're able to start looking at us to buy additional services. No client of ours has more than 2% of our revenue and our churn rate is less than 1%. So we have our de-risked investment. No one client leaving will cause us uh, significant problems. And we have very few clients leaving anyway. GiveX was originally an engagement company, uh, gift and loyalty. We've now moved to adding point of sale, and, uh, customer web suites, uh, online ordering, kitchen display systems, kiosks, and recently we just added payments. When we take all these services together and put them on one platform, we provide a very valuable service to our clients where they have all their data on one platform. So they're able to uh, get the data they need to know who their clients are, uh, what they're spending their money on, what the trends are in the industry so that they can adapt to what's going to be happening in the, in the future as much as possible. The key is to not only add locations, but we also want to add value or uh, revenue per location. Or say in 2020, our revenue, average revenue per client was about $50 per location. It moved from uh, approximately 95,000 to 115,000 client locations. And we were able to move that average revenue up from $50 to $57. Our objective now is to continue to do that. It's important that we are able to not only add locations, but add dollar value per location. And to do that, we wanna sell more and more of our services. Because GiveX has built all its own technology, 
everything that we've done is built onto our platform. So we are able to provide our customers with all of the services that I'm talking about, which all can be done on one platform so that they have one place to go to get support on all of those services. Uh, well, I'd like to thank everybody for their time, and uh, I'm uh, more than happy, happy to answer questions if you have them, so please do feel free to reach out. We feel GiveX is definitely a de-risked investment. We have been in business for 20 years. Uh, we are profitable. We grow, grow on a consistent basis. We're very care careful with our capital, and uh, we have management and team that have been around and part of the same team for uh, over 15 years. So uh, we will look after our investors and make sure that we uh, grow our investor value. That's really why we're here, is to uh, increase uh, shareholder value.